Introduction to Plant Breeding At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Plant Breeding Describe the Objectives of Plant Breeding All over the world, cotton is one of the most commonly used fibers in the textile industry. China ranks first among the cotton producing countries in the world. India holds the second place in cotton production after China. The surprising fact is that until 1970s, India used to import large quantities of cotton from other nations. From the middle of 1970s, the government began to launch special schemes such as intensive cotton production programs which paved way for the gradual increase in yield. India can proudly state that once a prominent importer of cotton but now the second largest exporter of cotton, India attained the status of leading producer due to the introduction of BT cotton variety in the year 2002. The BT cotton varieties contain a foreign gene obtained from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis which is inserted into a normal cotton seed. The transferred bacterial gene protects the plant from bollworm, one of the main culprits affecting the cotton cultivation. What actually happens is that when the insects eat the leaves of BT cotton plants, they become drowsy and lethargic, thus causing less damage to the crop. Almost 90% of cultivable cotton varieties in India are BT cotton. When it comes to BT cotton cultivation, the characteristics of the cotton plant are modified to control the damage to cotton crops, to reduce the use of pesticide and to increase its yield. The concept of modifying the characteristics of a plant to produce new crop varieties is called as plant breeding. For instance, cotton crop is modified to yield BT cotton through certain plant breeding mechanisms. In India, scientific plant breeding technique was introduced in the beginning of the 20th century. At present, all plant breeding programs are more scientific and advanced to produce improved varieties of crops which are more beneficial to humans than earlier times. In this lesson, let us discuss the objectives and achievements of plant breeding techniques in India. Plant breeding is a science, art and business of producing better quality crops which benefit the human race. In 1907, Albert Howard, a British scientist, conducted the first experiment on wheat plants applying various plant breeding techniques. The preliminary aim of plant breeding is to improve crop varieties that are commercially, agronomically and economically successful. However, based on the type of crop and the region of cultivation, specific objectives of plant breeding may vary. Let us discuss some of the main objectives of plant breeding. Higher yield. Basically, the most important objective of any plant breeding program is to obtain a better yield. By developing more efficient genotypes, such as hybrid varieties, the yield can be increased to a great extent. Improved quality. Sustaining the quality of plant produce is one of the important aspects of plant breeding. Quality characteristics may generally vary from one crop to another. For instance, through plant breeding, the quality of rice in terms of grain size, color and nutrient content can be improvised. Disease and insect resistance. Inbuilt resistance of plants is highly beneficial and the cheapest means to raise crops. Moreover, it serves as an environmentally safe method for disease and insect control. These plant varieties help in increasing production and also stabilizes it. BT cotton is the best example of inbuilt resistance plants. Change in maturity duration. Developing early maturing crop varieties is also considered as a main objective of plant breeding. Such kind of implementation allows new crop rotation and helps in extending the crop area. For example, imparting early maturity in wheat varieties permits rice wheat rotation. Agronomic characteristics Implementing changes in agronomic characteristics such as plant height, branching, tillering, erect or trailing habit etc. are also included in plant breeding activity. For example, crop dwarfness especially in cereals like rice and wheat, 
is associated with launching resistance and fertilizer responsiveness, photo and thermo insensitivity, including photo and thermo insensitivity characteristics in crop varieties such as wheat and rice has allowed cultivation of these crops in new places. For example, rice is being grown in Punjab. On the other hand, wheat is cultivated in West Bengal. Synchronous maturity. This type of maturity is highly needed in crops like mung, also known as vigna radiata, where several pickings are mandatory. Non-shattering characteristics. Shattering is a major problem experienced by many commercial crop varieties. Inducing non-shattering characteristics through plant breeding is of great value to crops like mung. Dormancy In some crops, seeds begin to germinate before harvesting period due to pre-harvest rains leading to the major loss. Removing the period of dormancy in crops like mung and barley can help in overcoming such losses. Determinate growth. Practicing the habit of determinate growth in crops such as mung, pigeon pea and cotton varieties is considered desirable for less damage and high yield. Varieties for new seasons. Growing of plants in different seasons other than the traditional season is feasible through plant breeding. For example, maize is a karif crop but Scientists have made it possible to grow it as rabi and zaid crops. Moisture stress and salt tolerances. Cultivating crop varieties suitable for saline soils and rain-fed areas can help to increase food production in India. For instance, groundnut plants cultivated in black soil produce more yield than those grown in alluvial soil. The so far discussed objectives are considered as the most important ones of plant breeding. However, they may constantly get modified owing to the changes that occur unavoidably in several areas such as agricultural practices followed by agriculturalists, biotic and abiotic environment of the cultivating region and finally consumer needs. Summary Plant breeding is a science art and business of producing better quality crops which benefit the human race.